All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I don't know if you guys can tell from the messy background. Uh, I just woke up. Uh, so I, you know, I apologize if I couldn't get the reaction out there a little bit earlier. Um, this LSU Florida State game exhausted the absolute hell out of me. Literally, as soon as the game was over, I, I went to sleep. It was too exhausting. Uh, the game was way too exhausting. Um, this was one of the ugliest games I think I've ever seen in my life. This was one of the craziest games I think I've ever seen in my life. Uh, it was, I, I, you I mean, I'm not even an LSU or a Florida State fan, and I just felt like I went through the seven stages of grief. Um, I went through every single sort of emotion imaginable. And it's, it's, it's crazy. It, it's, it's absolute crazy. I, I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen two teams try to lose a game so hard, right? People talk about Pittsburgh and West Virginia, what happened on Thursday. No, guys, this was far worse. This is far worse. Uh, penalties, dropped interceptions, horrible passes, fumbles. We had two muff punts by Malik Neighbors. Uh, I mean, it was... I've never seen two teams try to lose a game as hard as what I've seen Florida, uh, that matchup between Florida State and LSU. This was nuts. Um... Oh, boy. Uh, it was exciting towards the end. But I'm screaming at my TV. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm going off. Because I'm like, dude, how in the hell is Florida State allowing LSU to do this? And, and and then on the other flip side, I'm like, how in the hell is Florida, is LSU, how in the hell is LSU allowing Florida State to do what the hell they want to do? I mean, it's nuts. It's crazy. Um, Brian Kelly looked, you know, they showed, during the moments that they showed Brian Kelly, he looked like he didn't want to be there. He looked like a coach that did not want to be coaching at that uh, at, at at the University of LSU anymore, or Louisiana State University. He looked like he didn't want to be there. Uh, Keisha Butte did not look like he wanted to be there. He want that that looked like a person that that the first opportunity he gets, he's gonna enter the transfer portal. My God. Uh, Jaden Daniels was horrific through the majority of the game until like the last couple minutes. That last drive, which was like a, a literally, I think that was a, a ninety-eight, like a ninety-eight yard drive that they were able to accomplish. Um, I, I I have no words. I don't know what to take away from this. I don't know because Florida State looked really good defensively. At least they were ag ag aggressive. Their pass rush was relentless. Um, their quarterback, for the most part, had an up. I mean, it was he made some spectacular plays. But on the other flip side, I mean, you had busted coverages. A lot of missed tackles in the backfield. I mean, it was I didn't know who wanted to win the game. Like both teams tried to their hardest to lose this game. And um, ultimately, Florida State made just a little bit more plays than what LSU did. And ultimately, it came down to a, a, a PAT of all things. This, this is what did it for me. The PAT, which was blocked. And honestly, thank God that it was because I couldn't do overtime. I, 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 would, I, would, I, I, just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do overtime. I was going to literally by the, by the end of regulation, I was going to go to sleep regardless. I could not watch overtime. I couldn't do it, so I'm actually glad that PAT was blocked. But guys, this game was exhausting. This game was exhausting, and I and I, and, and I just I felt bad for both teams. I honestly did. I felt bad for both pro programs because these were two programs that used to be at the top. These were two programs growing up. These were the you know some of the best teams in college football with the most incredible, which is about the most the most stacked talent and best coaching staffs in college football. And now look at this. Look at what it's reduced us to. Right, you know, seven eight years ago, this would be a dream matchup between two phenomenal programs. Now it's just, it's still. I mean, it's still a really good game. Don't get me wrong. It's still. It's. It, it ultimately was a good game, but oh my god! I mean, this was excitement. This had excitement. This was sloppy. Both teams tried their hardest to lose, but at the same time, win at the same. I, I, I just, I. This was insane. I, I don't know how to describe it. This was. I've never seen a game like this. 
or maybe I haven't seen a game like this in a long time that I can't uh, that I can personally recall. I, I, I this, was, this was crazy. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, I, I, man, I just, I don't know. I'm, st I'm, I'm still am tired. I got some, um, some, uh, dirt underneath my eye, but, um, yeah, I just, I, man, I, man, I just, I don't know how to describe this game. This was, uh. Oh boy, I I just know that Brian. It, if it I I'm I, you see I, I'm stuttering all over the place. I can barely even talk. I can only imagine what Brian Kelly feels. I can only imagine what Brian Kelly feels. Mark Neville is probably celebrating because uh, his team got the win. But if you're Brian Kelly, you would. I'm like, I I don't know how you feel. I I don't know how you feel. Um, this was this was nuts. Let me know how you guys feel about this game. Um. Just, just speechless. I, I, I'm actually still tired from yesterday, but um, yeah, unbelievable. Just unbelievable.